You're here in the context of uh, the Visionary Africa project. I just want to ask you a couple of questions about your experiences and what uh, uh, the, the residents meant to you. I mean, for a start, I think it was a, a really good opportunity to, to be away from where I normally am, to be in a new place and to, to sort of rethink what I would like to do, to rethink my work, my approach um, in a place that's not familiar to me. So therefore, this idea of going to somewhere and taking from the place um, some form of inspiration that can generate new work. It's a, it's a kind of, I think it's a very good process in, in, in gen for generating new work. Thinking about the pavilion in the Place de la Nation in a big public space, what, according to you, was the reaction of uh, the, the public, of the people you had the opportunity to meet there? Well, I mean, I think the experience was very positive, and I say that seriously. You know, I think that in Africa, the museums tend to be spaces that, um, that the general public shies from. There is some, some kind of authority about these spaces that doesn't seem available to the general public. And it seems that only tourists that want to see traditional objects go to these museums. So the idea of putting a museum in a public space next to a market or in a large square where people just walking down the streets can walk into this museum, not pay a ticket, and then see a photography exhibition, and therefore, you know, which means see something which is cutting edge and contemporary, is something which is extremely positive, I think. You know, and it's something, uh, I think the reaction of people showed that. So, uh, Theo, I think all of us who were working on this project yeah. are really, really curious now yeah. to, to learn about uh, what are you going to do? What is the, the artistic gift, just in a few lines, that you're preparing? Well, the, the work, as I said earlier, the work that I'm making at the moment is, has two core ideas. One is to identify certain key elements of Ouagadougou. I would have thought one key element is the fact that it's more or less the cinema capital of Africa and therefore cinema is its uh, character, it's its cultural character. And the other thing is the traditional African masks and sculptures which in, in Ouagadougou or in Burkina Faso have their own particular forms and character. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to unite these two elements in a work which is sculptural influenced by some of the traditional shapes of, uh, of uh, sculpture in, in, in Burkina Faso. And what I'm filming is the audience looking at cinema. So what we see, what we are looking at, is other people looking at something else. And so basically, that video of someone else, of, of, an, of a member of the audience looking at a film, really becomes a mirror of ourselves because we ourselves are somebody looking at, at the sculpture or at the, or, or that, that video image. So it's a kind of mirror. And so I think it's kind of interesting that we are mirroring ourselves in an image that's not of ourselves. In other words, we recognize ourselves looking at something by looking at somebody else looking at something else.